Welcome to another Tasker 101 tutorial sponsored by HollywoodFrodo.com. This is lesson number 30. I'm going to call this Don't Keep Announcing the Texture. And this is another big user request. Um, a lot of people have said to me, well, I like the profile we created that announces the texture or pops up a, uh, uh, a little pop-up scene that has the text in it. But if I'm, uh, uh, if I'm using my uh, text messaging app, if I'm in the messaging app as uh, responding to these, then I don't need a pop-up, I don't need to announce to me, I've got the app open. Or, if I'm texting back and forth with the same person, I don't need it announcing every time that person texts me when you know we're having an ongoing conversation so I'm going to show you how to do that uh, it, it's it seemed a little bit complicated but it's actually not all that complicated it's just uh, changing a few things in our task first I want to show you a simple thing you can do if you long press you can add an additional context you can choose application The applications are going to load. We're going to choose uh, the messaging app because that's the I use the built-in messaging app for texting. If you use a third-party app, you'd want to choose that um, as well. I'm going to click invert and then go back. So. When I receive a text, if I'm not on a call and I'm not in the messaging app, then trigger this. So simply by adding not messaging or whatever uh, your, your messaging app is, you're adding a context where if you actually have messaging open and you're using it, this isn't going to trigger. Now I will say there, this could mess you up a little bit and here's how. Uh, as you know in Android, you can leave an app but not exit the app. In other words, you could be in the messaging app and you could hit your home button which takes you to the home screen but your messaging app is still technically open. Remember in Android the way to back out of an app or exit it completely if it doesn't have an exit button and unfortunately most apps don't is you have to keep hitting your back button until you get out of it and then you've exited it. So if you have messaging open and then you hit your home screen button to go to your home screen, your messaging app may still be open. And in that case, this would not trigger. So that's just something to be aware of um, if you want to use that context. Now besides using that context, there is another way uh, to have it not repeat uh, a text based on time and who's texting you, and that's what we're going to do uh, now. So I'm going to erase that just because I don't want that context right now. I want to use this other other means, which is a little bit more complicated, but not too bad. So this is the task we set up before. We basically uh, had it announce who's texting. Then we added something so that if it was, if we were connected to our car Bluetooth, also have it say the message. But if we're not connected to our car Bluetooth, then have it show a scene that shows us the message. Um, but if we're texting back and forth to someone, we don't need that happening every time. We know who's texting us if we're having an ongoing conversation. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a time context between the current text and the last text and also a uh, who's it from context and measure those and we can react accordingly. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to I'm going to long press on this, Oops. select menu and select insert action. So I'm going to insert an action right at the beginning and this is going to set the first variable. So variables and I'm going to select variable set and this is a variable that I made up. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to use the variable and it's already in here because I've been playing with this. Um, text time diff, which stands for text time difference. The difference between the text that just came in 
and the time of the timestamp of the last text that came in. So what am I going to set it to? Well, I'm going to set it to the time of the text that just came in. And the most recent text time is a built-in variable. And you can scroll down. Text time. So that's the timestamp of the current text. And then I'm going to subtract a variable that I also set up. So you can type this in. I have it already in here because I've been using it text time. So that's that's a user variable. I created that variable and you want to check do math so that it actually does the math. So what this is saying is take the time of the current text and the time that is in the text time variable and subtract subtract uh, the text time from the current time and that set that new difference whatever the difference is set that as the variable text time difference and yes if you haven't figured it out this is getting into a bunch of algebraic type stuff which is what all programming is based on on algebra, algebraic type functions and and mathematics and that sort of thing so it's a little bit heavy but hopefully uh, even if you don't understand it you can still follow along and it'll still work for you um, so then the second thing we're going to do is now we're going to test that so I'm going to long press number three again and select insert action and I'm going to insert uh, an F else statement so I'm going to go to task and I'm going to choose if and so uh, I'm going to choose two conditions and this is a new feature of uh, uh, Tasker where you can test two different conditions and you can have and or statements um, which is very very cool so uh, condition number one is going to be that that text time difference that we took so we're gonna, I'm going to pick that variable it should be in your variable list now because you created it in the last activity. Text time difference. And I want to see if it's less than point, oh, that's not a point, point zero, come on, keyboard, zero, five. Point zero five basically would represent five minutes. Um, if you don't remember, in Tasker, time is told just like we tell time, except instead of a colon, uses a decimal point. So, uh, you know, 10 a.m. would be 10.00. 10.25 a.m. would be 10.25. So that's, that's how it works. And so uh, we're taking... In the previous activity, we took the current time and subtracted it from the time we received our last text and came up with time difference. If that difference is less than 0.05, that means less than a five minute difference, then I don't want this task to trigger. Now I'm gonna add a different context and then I'll talk to you about how you can use one of these or both of these. And this, I'm gonna, instead of an and statement, I'm gonna, uh, or statement, I'm gonna use an and statement. So I'm going to say and, and then I'm going to use another variable. This is a variable that I created. So this is a user variable. So you can type it in. Text from percent, t, capital T, E-X-T, capital F-R-O-M, text from. And then I'm going to leave that matches. And I'm going to use a built-in variable. And the built-in variable is who the text is from. So go down here to text, but I'm not using the text from name. I'm using the text from number. I think it's more reliable. So the way this is set up, there are two conditions. If the text time difference, so the difference between this text that I just got and the last text I got is less than five minutes, and it's also from the same person as the last text I got, then I don't want it to do anything. I don't want it to tell me who's texting or show the pop-up. So you could use one of these both of, or both of these. You don't have to use them both. You could put it, change the and to an or, which would mean that if this text 
if you got a text and it's less than five minutes since your last text, or if the text you just got is the same person who texted you the last time you got a text, even if it was five hours ago, you don't want this to trigger. Um, it's up to you. Some people might want to just use the time uh, and not use the from. So anytime you get a text and it's less than five minutes, um, some people might just want to use the from. If this text is from the same person as the last text. Um, or you can use both by using the and command. So it's up to you. You can use one, you can use uh, both uh, together, or you can use both separately with the or statement. So that's our if statement. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to long press right under that because I want to insert an action task and I'm going to use else. So now this may seem weird because I have an if statement but I don't have any activities under it and then I have an else statement. Well basically what this is saying is if if this is true, less than five minutes and the same from, coming from the same person, then skip all of the else stuff and go to, the, go to what starts after that. Else, if this is not true, then go through all these steps. So if this is not true, I want it to go through all these steps. And uh, that's it at the beginning. Now all we have to do is go to the end. I'm going to add an activity, task, and if, and because we have an if and an else statement already here, this end if ends this end if statement. So now we're going to add a second one, task, and if. So you can see it's going to set the difference in the time, then it's going to test how is that time difference less than five minutes and is it from the same person. If it is not, then it goes to the else and it goes through the saying who's texting and uh, if you're connected to Bluetooth, speaking the whole message. If you're not connected to Bluetooth, showing the pop-up. But if these things are not true, if, 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 if these uh, or if it, they are true, if, if the time difference is less than five minutes and it's from the same person, it skips all the way down to the end if, which means it doesn't do any of that. And that's what you want it to do. You do need to add, however, a couple of statements at the end here which set you up for the next text that comes through. So we're going to go to variables. We're going to select variable set. And we're going to set text time. to the time of our current text. So we're, we're setting our user variable, we're now resetting it. We're resetting it to the time of the text we just received so that it'll be ready to go for the next time. And then the next thing we need to do is variables, variable set, and we need to set the text from so that the next text we receive can be compared to that. So text from. And we're going to set that to who our most recent text, the text that just came through is from, text from. So there we go. So at the end, whether it reads this or it doesn't read this, at the end, the last thing it does is reset our text time and text from user variables, the ones we created, so that they're ready to be compared or subtracted from the next text that comes in. So it sets us up for success for the next one. Now just remember that it's time, um, uh, time difference here in this if statement. I chose 0.05, which means 5 minutes. For you, that may be 0.02, 2 minutes, or that may be... Uh, 0.30, 30 minutes difference. Whatever it is for you, you can make it whatever you want. I chose if it's less than five minutes. So let's go back and let's turn this on and let's see uh, how it works. I'm going to go to uh, my Google Voice 
and send myself a message. And we'll wait for that to come through. Edit, Google is texting you. So you heard, it announced who is texting me and it presented it here on the screen. So let's say I replied to myself and then myself sent me another text. Whatever. So this time it shouldn't do anything. There you go. It didn't announce who's texting and it's not showing the pop-up. Because even because when it when it received that, it subtracted the time from the last text and found out it was less than five minutes. And it tested to see who was sending it. It's from the same person, so that means don't say it. Uh, the way I have it set up, if someone texted me right after somebody else, but it was a different person, then it would still trigger. Uh, I Because I have it measuring uh, not just how long ago since the last text, but also is it a different person? And if it's a different person, then here we go. If it's if it if it's a different person, then even if it's been less than five minutes, it's still going to go ahead and trigger. Um, if you don't care about whether or not it's from the same person, then you could remove that statement. Uh, but that's all there is to it. When you set that up, now it won't. Uh, if you're texting back and forth with somebody. Uh, you're not going to continually get that announced text or continually get that pop-up. So uh, it's not really all that complicated. It's just doing, you know, applying standard programming language, um, which basically is you're using Tasker, you're, you're pseudo learning programming. Um, that's what Tasker is. It's, it's uh, uh, sort of its own programming language of uh, testing things and, you know, making things happen based on uh, other calculations. So, anyway, that is it from uh, uh, for this review. Don't forget, you can also add that third context in here for this not to trigger just when you have the messaging app open. And that by itself may be enough for some people. It just depends. But don't forget, like I said, if you use that context, if you don't actually exit out of the app, uh, you may not be in the app, but it may still be open, which would keep this from triggering. So keep that in mind. That's it for this uh, lesson. Uh, hopefully you learned a lot, and I know a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, really wanted to know how to do this, how to keep it from continually announcing when it's the same person. So uh, hopefully this satisfies uh, that for a lot of people, and will make a lot of people happy. And if you're happy, then you should click that like button, because that'll make me happy. Um, check out my channel for all my other Tasker tutorials, as well as a gazillion uh, uh, Android app reviews. Of course, that's an exaggeration, but there's a lot. Um, as well as some NFC tutorials, product reviews, and dog product reviews. Uh, either subscribe to the whole channel or favorite the playlist you're really interested in. Keep coming back and checking out other stuff. Um, share this. Please share it with anyone you know uh, who might be interested. Facebook, Google+, uh, Reddit, all those good ways. Uh, the more subscribers I get, hopefully, the more time I'll be able to uh, dedicate to this and keep going, all right? That's about it until next time. So don't forget to visit HollywoodFrodo.com. And until next time, have fun with Tasker.